Hi, I'm Paulette Morrissey from Tulip Square, and this week I'm going to show you how to make this popular table runner of ours. We call it the picture window table runner. It's kind of pretty. Um, and in the pattern, we show it with a lot of different colors and we've got it made in a couple different colors on our website and things like that. But this time I'm gonna do it in monochromatic. I'm gonna use all different shades, of different patterns of blue fabrics, just to make it look a little different and some, something fun to look at. So we're gonna head over to the sewing machine and get busy sewing on this. And if you're interested in the pattern, it is number 599 picture window and the link will be at the end of the video. So let's head over to the sewing machine and get busy. Okay, to make this table runner, I start by putting a post-it note on every different um, piece of the fabric that I've cut out. Like these are all the K's, these are the B's, these are the A's, and I just keep them straight that way, and I've just got them set on a table off to the side. And then I've cut 10 of these one-inch strips that are the length of the fabric, the width of the fabric, so they're about 42 inches long. And I find it's a lot easier, rather than cutting all these little bitty pieces each time you, you need one, I find it easier to sew them on first and then trim it off. And then you don't have any waste either. So we're going to start by taking the A pieces and I'm going to take off my little A there. These are going to get sewn like this. They're going to have a strip of the sashing sewn in between them. So I'm going to do that. There's two pairs of piece A. So I'm going to sew them both like that and then I will just cut them off and make sure you use nice accurate quarter inch seams on all your pieces. All right, I've got these two A pieces done. They've both got their white little bit of sashing in between. And now I'm going to sew them together. Now I'm going to sew them together and put a strip of sashing down the middle. And you can see as I'm sewing, when I get to the end, I've got the long piece of sashing here and I'm just going to cut it off. Right, I can cut it off now or I can cut it off after I finish the seam, but either way. Also, when you're sewing two pieces together that are crossing each other, like this one has a piece here and this one has a piece here, even though they're separated by this sashing strip, you want to make sure those two white strips line up in here before you sew this together. Keep an eye on that. All right, so this is my four A sections all put together. Now I'm going to sew sashing strips on each of these ends. So next, we've, this is the A sections. So now we're going to take the two B sections and we're going to sew one on each end here and here. And there we have the B sections done. Now we're going to sew, this is the top and bottom edges right here. So that is how high it's going to be. Now we're going to start working out this way to add to the length of it. So we're going to start by putting sashing strips on each of the two long sides. Now this particular runner, I'm doing it in all different shades of different fabrics of blue that I got from a Fat Quarter Bundle. Um, and I'm doing that because we've got a couple of really colorful vari versions of the runner on our pattern and on our website. So I thought maybe you'd like to see what it looks like kind of monochromatic. And see now like this piece of runner of sashing that I've been using to sew all these little pieces together isn't long enough for this. So I'll set it aside because there will be other pieces that are shorter that can use it. And then I'll take a fresh new piece and start sewing these. I'm going to set this A and B piece aside for a second. And I'm going to take I have two C pieces. And I'm going to sew sashing on the two short ends of each one. Now with these pieces, I'm going to sew a D piece to each end of the C like this. So you can see as you go along that this is pretty simple. It's just add some pieces, add some sashing, add some pieces. Add some sashing. It's really a very easy pattern, even easy enough for absolute beginners. Now these two pieces will get sewn to either side of the center piece, just like so. Here. so now we have this much done, and now we're going to add sashing strips to the outside edges. Now we've got both of those done. A's, B's, C's, and D's. The next comes E's. We have four E's, and they're going to be sewn together in pairs with a short strip of sashing in between them, like so. And then they will get sewn over to here. I'll go ahead and put the short sashing. And now I've got the E strips done, and they will get sewn 
through the sides here and here. You can you can see what I'm doing is I'm just adding sashing and then I'm adding a strip of whatever, like two or three pieces and then another strip of sashing and then two more pieces and another strip of sashing. And you just keep going all the way across the whole thing, starting from the center and you're working your way out on both sides. I'm now sewing sashing strips to the two short ends of the of the F pieces, which are your main pieces if you have some kind of a fabric that you want to spotlight or highlight or anything or you've got the G pieces come next. One on each end of each F piece, like so. Each piece is next, separated by a short piece of sashing in the middle. Now these H pieces get sewn to the side each side of the runner. Okay, on the J strips, you only sew a strip of sashing on one long side of each piece. Next, the K pieces get sewn together in pairs with a strip of sashing in between along their short edges. Okay, now you join these pieces together like this. I've got two pairs of those. Now you sew sashing strips to the short ends of each of these, both ends. Now we sew the L strips to both ends of these two pieces. Now these last sections get sewn to the ends of the runner with the stripes going this way. But that is all the pieces put on and it's all set. Now, if you want, you have two options here. You can leave it this big and go ahead and bind it, you know, quilt it and bind it. Or if you want, you can add another row of sashing around the whole entire outside edge. And you did cut enough sashing for that. Um, so if you want it a little bit bigger, right now it's just about 15 inches, so it would be about 16 inches. You're only going to add an inch in width and an inch in length. Otherwise, we're all set. So now you know how to make the picture window table runner. It's a pretty one, isn't it? I kind of like it in the blues. It's kind of different. Um, and this one, when it's finished, is 16 by 49 inches. A nice good size for a lot of tables. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever we have a new video up. And the link for this pattern is in the description up here somewhere. <laughs> um, so you can download it and make your own. Very pretty table runner. And wouldn't these be cute if you made smaller ones and made them into placemats? <laughs> okay, um, have a good week. Happy sewing. I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.